Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Phoenix Point, the year one edition. Yeah, this is actually not getting a lot of traction out there because there is a little bit of bad blood concerning this game's a uh, little bit of history. Now you're thinking this just came out on Steam, right? It's actually been out on Epic for about a year. Uh, this game was uh, backed on Fig. For I do believe it was around maybe four million or so. Uh, then uh, Julian Gallup, the creator of the XCOM series, uh, a lot of good ideas this game. He uh, took that, he went out and sought it out. He sought out the Epic exclusive deal because mo money. And then some developers, I think it is a good idea. Uh, but this one, you really didn't need to. I think it really offended a lot of people backing it as well. But right now it's got about 28 reviews, not getting a lot of traction. And they have actually made a lot of improvements. I did play through this when it came out in the Epic Store. But they have had a lot of bug fixes, etc. Some new stuff for the year one edition. I don't know if that's gotten to the Epic side yet. Uh, but a new uh, prologue. A little bit of a new tutorial as well. Some really nice voice acting. I think generally on the UI, everything is a bit more improved as well. Right now we're on the Geoscape. Uh, we're probably about two hours into this run. I just want to show off some gameplay, give you my thoughts. And at the time, the first time I played through it, the game was kind of just a bit too busy. There was just a whole lot going on. Oh uh, yeah, it does have, actually have three different factions as well in this game. Uh, that you cannot lie with one of them against the other ones. And at Phoenix Point, they're kind of like, uh, pretty much like XCOM. And I kind of think they should be uh, helping all the factions... But the kind of game does kind of, if you want to get the tech, you kind of do have to choose a side uh, really early game. Well, actually, we have New Jericho up here right here. And it does have a really nice uh, Phoenixpedia, too. Uh, one thing I don't like about the Phoenixpedia, it does have a lot of stuff about lore. About some stuff you haven't even, people you haven't even met yet, really. That's the one thing, is a little bit, you can run into some spoiler territory. All right, we just got that one done. You do have health and stamina after battle as well. Uh, I think we go, we're going to set down to Mexico here real quick in our mana core. And you can actually have multiple bases and multiple teams going at the same time. And that's when the game gets a little crazy busy. And the UI is slightly improved. I feel like the UI is still a little dry for this game. Uh, but the majority of it is actually really pretty. So let's move over. Yeah, let's move. Oopsie. All right. This time is passing every time we move. And likewise, we'll go explore this and see what we got. Enter the Syndron, stage left. Okay, so we found another faction. And these guys uh, believe in a different set of ideals. I think they're more kind of tech savvy. We could assist them with this problem. Some group of these who have stolen critical research. All right. And we are, ooh, Jacob. I think we get you a health uh, med kit, you would be all right. And throw another one in your backpack just to get ready there. It does have encumbrance. Uh, really kind of a nice skill system tree. It's not really as elaborate as XCOM 2. Uh, it's kind of a basic setup to level seven. And then you can get points you can get. You can also put into your willpower. Strength is just uh, maximum hit points and your carry weight and how far you can toss a grenade willpower is just kind of your will so you don't panic and use for your abilities as well and speed just how many tiles the character can move in one turn and you also have a general pool point that you can use that along with them so you can actually add there as well so let's add another med pack uh I feel like a little leery we might have to go sit down for a little bit after this but i did want to show off some battles and the battles in uh, this one can tend to be a little bit longer than your usual XCOM and XCOM 2. The style of the game does kind of harken back a little bit to the old XCOM series, definitely. A little bit more complex. It doesn't quite pack the punch uh, that XCOM 2 does. And graphically... I would say very nice, even much improved from uh, when it first came out, I would say, a little bit. Alright, so kill all enemies. Yeah, we're going to be fighting humans as well. 
It does have procedurally generated maps as well, which I really do think I flows quite well. All right, Jacob, get behind full cover, and I automatically want you to take med kit. There we go, a little bit better. That's not going to heal any limb damage if you do have it, but... All right, move off to you. Omar, he's going to have our heavy class unit. I'm going to go in a little bit of an overwatch. Since we don't quite know what we're getting into yet. All right, we have another regular assault unit. That tree is not covered. Uh, let's just move up a little bit. We'll cover. Let's keep on this side as well. Alright, we actually do have... You can also recruit characters from other factions as long as you're really semi-friendly with them. Though it is going to cost you a bit of resources. Let's just go... Be even, Steven. And there's not really a range rule percentage for uh, shooting as well. Uh, so it's going to be, once we get into combat, we'll be able to explain that a little bit more. There's also unit customization. Not as good as XCOM 2. Uh, XCOM 2 kind of set the bar on that one. Now let's just go up and... And there's really not any, uh, as far as I remember, any time. Do we want to move up or do we feel good? Here, I feel good here. Let's see if we hear something. Is somebody on that side. So they broke some glass? Okay. Didn't actually see anybody. And also an interesting mechanic they do have, if you do see somebody, uh, you will stop mid-turn. Like if you're running around a corner and all of a sudden you see two people, you're not going to keep running to that spot where you thought you were going to originally. Which is kind of nice. I'm not going to move you yet, Jacob. Keep my sniper back here as well. Overwatch is always your friend. They're not getting past me. Moving to position. That's not really a... Heading out. Gonna move over here a little bit. I'm Just set up a little bit of a key kill zone if uh oh, we do have jet pack. Your heavy unit does have jet packs as well, which is really nice for getting up high. We'll show that off in a little bit. I'm going in. I was afraid you want to trigger something. Yeah, so we got multiple kill zones. If they come this way. Though they might just keep... They don't know we're here, actually. Oh. They're on the wrong side, though. Alright, we do need to get to some... It's half cover. That is actually not any cover. Um... Should go for half cover, then. I don't like it, but... All right, this one actually, they have the ballistic uh, system, which is actually quite different. There's not, as you can see, there is not a range roll uh, chance. It is uh, generally within the scope. Uh, all the bullets will go within the outer ring, about 100% chance. And there's about a 50% chance it will go into the inner ring. Um, See who has the less armor. And you can actually even just knock out their guns as well. And blow off your arm almost. I'm going to go for a headshot. Oh. It was quite junk, unfortunately. Do I want to move out to... No, nah, not really. You stay there. I mean, are they going to cut? Is the other unit going to come this way? Ooh, I give you got a chance to shot at you. Let's see. Not an outright kill. Let's go for it. 
Unfortunately, that yeah, since you're holding it at mid level, there is a good chance that that's in your way. That'll you'll knock down cover. All cover is destructible as well. Everything you see here can get destroyed. Just worry now you're going to come around that side. Should I? And I know there's more than two. I'm going to move up a little bit. Do I see anything though? All right, I'm going to cover this side just in case they come around. See if I can get a sniper shot though. It's but do you hit? Nope, got a window though. That's good. Um, let's go behind. We'll cover on this side. That does expose us, but if they go there. We got Overwatch, so. I'm going to go for regular shot. My free aim hasn't been going so well. Oh, nice. And I do actually have a uh, special ability where I'm actually affecting them with virus damage over time as well. Okay, so you basically, you should be okay. You're all right. Yeah, let's end the turn. So they're hiding in there. And then generally the AI has been pretty good in this one. Just a little bit. 30 straight up damage. Oof. They're way more accurate than we are. Took a little bit of limb damage. Wow, alright. Okay. Okay, so he just snuck up on us as well. So we do have three at least. And there goes talking about cover. There it goes. Wow. Okay. Thirty. Give me a neat bow. All right. Also, these guys. Oh crap! We are in a bit of a pickle. With multiple. Wow. All right. That's fair. Wow. All right. You're doing an okay, Jacob. I'm gonna free him shot this. We gotta make sure we kill him. Thank you. Alright. And now they're losing will. Okay. Uh, do I wanna get you back to... Just move out, move back, you're hit. Okay, now we gotta get out of... I was saying earlier, we probably... But go for a shot on you, though. Let's go back to you. Can you even get... Not really. Well, plus there's a, uh... Yeah, he's on this side. If I do get in... Let's go in. I'm gonna overwatch it. In case he comes out. Although I think we should probably... Uh, I say we just go for a little bit of shot. But I think that is gonna probably... What if I free him a little higher? No, I think we go regular, regular shot would be a better idea. Cover didn't go. Well. Worth a try, though. Go kind of far out. Good shot on you. You knocked out the computer that was... Oh, well, that's a good idea. You need to get a med kit. Of 
Unfortunately, either way you go. I'm gonna get a med kit on you. Stop that bleeding. And then you're gonna get the heck out. Um, there's really no cover where I'm not in trouble, though. I guess we could. Stupid idea. Yeah, that is not going well. Alright, so he's in over that way. They're going up there. How's he shot, though? Ah, all right. See how you like that. Okay, so I think him over here, he moved, they both moved into this building. I'll just keep an eye out for resource uh, boxes for ammo and loot and other supplies that you can sometimes find out here. So this is just more a straight up kind of story mission. Anywhere we've got. All right, you're a little bit injured, so take. Just keep me covered on that building. See if I'm moving up a little bit. I could. No, I think you should overwatch. I think coming out of that side. All right, let's just keep moving up. And maybe if he comes back around, I'll take a shot at him. And likewise, if he comes around this side, just cover this entire area if they do come out. Let's get out of the way, make him kind of come to us. He wants to get at us, he's gonna have to come and get it. Let's see what they do. Well, that's probably not a good idea for you. I look at that first time round of shots, they must apparently just got uh, lucky. Yeah, three seems like a bit much, though. Four, really. Unfortunately, my Overwatch was pennant the other way. Ow! Alright, this is not going well. Alright. Had better days, but this is going okay. I'm gonna go for a headshot. I'm gonna try to keep the majority of our, at least some part. Let's just go for a regular shot. Hopefully this will be a kill. Not sure how you missed that, but that's all right. We're in, we got the trees in a way. I almost feel like that should be cover, but. All right, I'm gonna lay waste, hopefully. I do have a grenade, but I don't think we're gonna have the range. I would get you, but that's, yeah. Not really gonna be worth it. That's a kill. Maybe I get the other guy too. Or maybe I hit absolutely nothing. Oh, this guy. All right. This should be right behind you. Ooh. 
That's some really crappy glass, I have to say. That should be a kill. You're both on that side, unfortunate. You can get a shot. And, well, this would make you feel real out of home if you love XCOM. I don't want to put myself in harm's way, but... That should be a pretty easy kill, right? Nice to hit the guy behind us a little bit. Run back over. I think that's about it. Sadly, no overwatch, but... Oh, he's panicked! Oh, love. Love it. Well, let's actually see. Uh, we'll move one more because we still have a shot if we want to take it. And I actually could freeform shot, but... Yeah, it's not going to be very accurate. Even though he's panicking right now. I don't want to run over this way. Very nice. And this is kind of the majority of the missions. Uh, you will also have uh, base missions as well. as also if you'd have to defend other havens from the uh, Mist Pandora virus. And you have alien nests. Well, they're not really alien aliens, but you get the drift. I don't want to spoil too much story in here. I love how we say that, too. Just cover that if you see him move. I don't think he's gonna, but... Past me. Yeah, let's just... Let's see. They're panicked, so I think we got a good... You are panicked, yeah. Oh. Get that infection damage up. Okay. He's trying to recover from the panic. To fire. Eh, we should just be able to finish him off. Oh, oh right, ammo. Eh, yeah, reload. We reload. Targeting. Down. There we go. Suffered a little bit more damage in that than I would have liked. Alright, we gotta level up. Yeah, we got... A couple injuries. And more points to our skill pool. Yeah, the design of the uh, aliens uh, you're, you'll be fighting is very good. We'll give the have uh, very unique enemies. Uh, stuff you're now you're not quite used to of uh, fan of the XCOM series, definitely. My name is Athena, and I'd like to thank you on behalf of Synedrion as a whole. You know, outsiders sometimes think of Synedrion as a bunch of naive, helpless people living in a big bubble. And I know we can appear that way, but the truth is, we are more like a powder keg. Trying to build a truly democratic society without hierarchies involves a lot of arguing. The terraformers want one thing, the polyphonic tendency another. Zara clashes with Nikolai. Stas tries to keep everyone calm. Every haven has a totally different set of priorities. And then something like this happens. I'm being honest about our flaws because I think crazily enough, the whole thing works. We've built something remarkable, given everything we've been through. And the Phoenix Project could help us really make a difference on this wretched planet. Think about it, please. We have a lot in common. Well, I have to say I'm not that altruistic, so let's take... Let's take the money. You're welcome. I hope we can work together again. Oh, so we did get some tech. All right, and they're a little bit happier. They probably would have had a more of a diplomacy upgrade if we had just not taken stuff for it. But, ah, we gotta get paid. 
All right, so we do have we do have some new research as well. Um, I do want to kind of let's. I really wish this was a little bit easier to organize. Reverse engineer that best is two pistol. It was a very nice laser pistol, I will admit. But Mind Fragger Autopsy is about two hours away. We'll just go with that one. Okay. Uh, so let's go check out some Haven info. They have all their own stuff. Well, we could actually go on a mission to steal their aircraft, raid their factories, raid their food. But yeah, we're trying to, we're trying to be the good guys. Right, let's go out this way real quick. Alright, these are kind of like the uh, body snatchers. Alright, so we do get a bonus effect of 150. Mind fraggers. Funny how that crude name our soldiers came up with stuck. Appropriate, I suppose. These vile creatures personify everything that makes the Pandorans so despicable. They are designed to rob us of our will, of our humanity. All right, so let's explore that real quick. Endorsion evolution would be okay. So we have a little bit of story choice as well. Got a book half hidden in the rubble. Star makers usually well preserved. Maybe we should get that. It's not actually not a big cost. Yeah, that's not a big cost at all. Yeah. Preserving humanity. Let's do it. Uh, so Cynodron liked it. New Jericho liked that. I knew, uh, did not. And these guys are kind of like the embrace, the, uh, genetic change. You know, they're a little, they're a little off. They've got some very interesting tech, though. Oh, we haven't met them quite yet. Alright, so we do have a level up as well. Alright, Jacob, what do we have? Shotgun proficiency. She's a secondary class to train in. Ooh, that's gonna cost us 50, though. We don't have quite enough. You know, that's not bad down the road. I wouldn't say no to it. Eventually, then we can't switch the shotguns, yeah. And uh, I might get you another willpower point. There you go. Let's go check everybody else's points real quick. Nothing big. All right. Also, let's just check. It's available in two days. And it's got a nice memorial wall, too, because I, I did pull an oopsie in the first couple hours. Uh, so it's actually got most used skills, favorite equipment, enemy kills. This, this is nice. I do like that. Not as flashy as you no know, XCOM's one with the plaques and everything, but not bad. Alright, so, grenade tech launcher. Alright, so let's, done that, explored that. Um, let's head over here. Oh, we got another haven. Uh, seems pretty friendly. Alright. Let's head back. Because we do want to get our stamina up and heal up our hit points real quick. Otherwise, we're going to be pretty hosered. Let's go look at our base info a little bit. It is nothing as fancy as XCOM 2. There's no pool tables, anything like that. It's a pretty basic system, but it does get the job done. Yeah, we also have a vehicle in production. We can actually start building an energy generator. Power right now is good, though. I already have one living quarters as well. So I think you can. I'm not sure, Tyler, I can't remember if you can double stack that or not. 
Point point for defense missions and escape route of things get bad. That's something down the road you definitely want to have. I already do have one fabrication plan and going. Even aside, that would actually be really nice. I think that is going to take us three days. It's going to take us about... Alright, it's going to take a bit of our tech, but I think it's worth it. We do tend to get shot a lot. Alright. So, pass a little bit of time. I do want to change up our research, because that's... Uh... I don't think we'll lose any time on that. Okay, this is tech shortage because we're a little bit low on tech. Alright, we gotta head over. No time. They'll probably repel it. Yeah, they've got enough, but I get... Big thing is, I get for helping. And that is great. Especially you want to help out if they're literally going to outnumber the enemy early on. I do believe they're more launching more DLC down the road. I don't know. I know there's at least one more DLC after the year one edition. Uh, I don't know the price range on that one. But for 30 bucks, I I know it's a hard thing to say because they did sell out the Epic. They haven't been very consumer friendly. But if you do like the XCOM series, it has it is almost the equivalent. It's not bad. A right, civilian rescue. I right, got it. Gotta make sure all civilians are alive. And I'm hoping they're gonna help out. Alright, so let's check out the battlefield real quick. There's at least one over here. And if we lose more, I don't think our reward will be as high. Of course. Alright, Sophia, move over here. I'm on Overwatch. Right there. Oh, what do we got? Can you actually hit that? And do they have any range right now? It just looks like it's melee. Acquiring target. Oh, I say go for it. Oh, good hit. Good hit. Alright, now move back out. Oh, we got another one. Let's still move over while I have a shot later on. I'll just move up for the moment. Okay, we're doing all right. Yeah, let's end the turn. If there are civilians out here. I have no idea where they are either. I feel like the uh, rescue missions in uh, XCOM and XCOM 2. This is a little bit crazier. And these guys do hit and they do heal from those hits. There are quite a bit. Alright. Being out of here is not a horrible idea. I feel like that's a crap shot, though. I don't see any ranged on them right now, so this is... a bit of a bonus. 
good chance we'll hit other people on this. Yeah, we hit both of them. Nice. What do you got? Uh... No, maybe. That's not the best shot. Since there are really no uh, range attackers right now, I think this is a really good idea just to cut them down. Yeah, that's a better shot. Well, almost a better shot. But can we head back to you? Because I'd like to still... Better idea to get you out of cover anyway. Who do you got? Oh, right through the window. I might be able to get your arm. Could maybe get your arm off. Disabled your arm. All right. Animist! Uh, that's, that's good stuff. Proceeding. Let's see if we got a shot. I'm just gonna go freeform shot. And a whole lot of nothing. Welcome to XCOM series type games. It's so, so bad. All right. When it's great, it is great. But yeah, when you when you don't hit, it's just madness inducing. I think there might be people in there. I'm not entirely sure. I think there, yeah, there's a civilian in there. We can't. We gotta hurry. They're kind of swarming. Ah, oh, shoot. Yeah, I think we've lost a couple civilians. But to be fair, their guy on top is just sitting around doing nothing, so... I mean, that's not all on me. Yeah, they're just... Killing piecemeal, there's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. Except for advance, really. How many did we lose? Apparently only seven. Taking position. No shots, really. Let's go. Nothing I can really get a shot on. So I'd really just like to rather anything on that side. I'll keep my eyes open. Keep your eyes on the through the windows. If we get a shot out. Here comes the Phoenix. Up top, really. If we get a shot. And I might actually just try to take out the wall. I don't know if we have enough to actually take out the wall. But really, what about that wall, though? Oh, it turns out there's another wall. Okay, so on their side there, got it. All right, they're killing. We can't see all their troops, even though we're allied. So apparently they got some over there, though. Sniper shot. Oh, got your arm. And you're bleeding 20 per turn as well. Let 
a drone already. We don't know what's going on right now, which is kind of interesting because yeah, they just have a sight. You can't see it, so. I knew our robots would be pretty crappy at best. All right, so we also have a couple over here. But all these kind of missions is also like XCOM 2. I think it's better just to take out the enemy as fast as you can than worry about... Unless they're directly on your path, it's really just... Not a great idea. Moving. Target detected. So overwatch it. I'll try to head over. Really not 100% sure what we're getting into, so. I got this covered. Let's do this. Let's just go with the coward approach. Can I get that wall out, really? That is a tough wall. Oh, they panicked because, oh, one of theirs died, unfortunately, it seems. The whole side is panicking. Luckily, he didn't panic. Oh, well, we missed that one. Lovely. Luckily, Sniper picked up. Okay. The only had the civilians left alive. That's going to affect our reward, but... There's not much I could have done about that. Well, I mean, I probably could have just rushed over there and probably got hurt in the process, and... I got this covered. Do I get a shot? Preparing to fire. Oh wow, that's a very iffy shot. And you got it. Hey, I'll take it. Moving now. I'm gonna move up a little bit, I think. Good idea to prioritize. I just thought that that wall probably needs a little bit more than a salt cannon, apparently. That's a tough wall. I could have actually just jetpacked, though. In hindsight, that's what I probably should have done to got him over here right away if I really wanted to save more people, but. I apparently did not care about the people. Okay. Moving to coordinates. I think on that side. Right there. So I think it must be. Yeah, on the other side of the building. I think. Oh, shoot. Uh, never you mind. Okay, so there's two on that side. Let's do this. And this is Overwatch because just in case they come down that side. No, we jetpack. Forgot about that. All right, I think we're good. I 
I can't see if that was one of them. I don't know why they would do that, but... Oh, yeah, they did. But hopefully I got them. Nope. Yeah, they get an insane amount of melee hits. This had to be said. Um... Well, just, just in case, I don't think it's going to happen, but. If we can at least get into range over there. Holding position. Heading out. Can I open these doors? Should be able to. Oh, hi! There you go. It's shaking bacon. I helped. All right. Haven defense. You don't get quite the bonus because I didn't do as well as job as I should have. But you know, free stuff is free stuff. Some very interesting, uh, yeah, designs of the enemies as well. It's it's got its own nice little art style. All right, so we got the that haven and then individual up plus fifteen percent. All right, got a quite a bit of reward, and I didn't do the whole thing either. That's uh, not bad. Okay, and this might be a whole separate video because that is kind of an in-depth thing. I don't think we're quite ready for that yet, because it's really just taking out the enemy base. Chance of it being revealed. Phoenix Project. Heard a lot about you people. Most of it weird. Science nerds with guns, huh? No, I've heard worse ideas. Anyway, here's the inside scoop on New Jericho. Tobias West? Probably a genius. Might be a bit crazy, but he has a plan. And a real plan is a heck of a lot better than all that touchy-feely crap at Sinedrian or whatever the hell those squid-worshipping disciples are up to. So stick with us, and maybe we'll die, or maybe we'll win. But either way, it'll be fun. Yeah, New Jericho is the only... It's one of the factions, like, it's easiest just to want to pick them. Because they seem the less crazy. Alright, let's head back to base real quick. Alright, we do have some leveling up as well. And customize the name and appearance of your soldiers. Uh, not... You couldn't actually do... Oh, now I can. Before, you couldn't. I think it's you got to get to, like, level 4, and then you can customize name, etc. Yeah, because originally I couldn't do her that earlier. And the customization, it's not bad. Uh, it's not, you know, anything near XCOM 2's level, especially with the modding scene. It'll be interesting to see if this does get Steam Workshop support for modding as well, because that has done wonders for XCOM 2. Right, let's get back from that. We do have quite a bit of points. Secondary class, that would actually be just enough. I say why not. Heavy training. Yeah, I wouldn't say no to it. Alright. Very nice. I'm going to have points on that one. Bash and melee attacks deal 50% more damage. Oh, not opposed to it, but you moving a bit more would be kind of nice, though. You could have the dash, but ah, really, all in all, more will is not horrible. Watch point is reduced by one action point. That. Very nice. We do have quite a few other points to use. Let's get we'll power up. Strength up. Let's go another strength point to carry a little bit more gear if we need to. If 
I think the majority of that's not bad. But overall, ladies and gentlemen, just want to give you kind of a quick peek uh, into uh, Phoenix Point. I know I kind of covered this a little bit earlier in development when it was on Epic. Uh, it's not bad. It is enjoyable. And eventually later on, you will kind of score the globe because right now we can only go so far. Uh, but we'll find another Phoenix Point base. And then we'll expand from there, expand from there. Then eventually you're running multiple uh, bases multiple squads across the world doing all these kind of missions at the same time uh getting on your way to humanity's victory or destruction it is an enjoyable time i do have to give it up to him uh what i played so far has been pretty solid it's been pretty good uh it just later on the game felt like it was just getting a little bit too busy but i see substantial ui and graphical improvement as well i uh, be really interested to dive into all the dlc and stuff they have I uh, see how that affects the base game. But right now it is about, I think, 20% off. So it's about 30 bucks American right now on Steam. If you are a fan of the XCOM genre, I think maybe you do owe yourself to check it out. I don't think it's going to go on sale for a while again. I don't feel like these guys really need money. They just need more money, as it says. So I don't know if it's going to go on sale anytime soon, but... I definitely would get a recommend, but if you don't want to support anybody that did Epic and then comes to Steam, I definitely understand that as well. But I right, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button to help out a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.